welcome back. Jackie's cooking. And today, my loves, we are going to make stewed okra and string beans with some pork neck bones. Okay, you heard me. Yes, indeed, we're gonna have this. I'm gonna be serving this with some white rice. I also got some uh, smoked pork neck bones with this as well because I love the smokiness. I have some pork neck bones here that I already cleaned, okay, um, with some lemon vinegar, okay. I have videos on how to clean your meats. Clean your meats is good, guys. Clean your meats, it makes your food taste fresher. All that other stuff they be saying I don't know about. <laughs> then, um, I have some string beans here. I have a 12-ounce bag of string beans here. Okay. I have some okra here. I'm gonna have to give me some okra. This is about a pound or so of okra. Okay, that I had in the freezer. Okay. We have some oil. Okay. We have some chopped green peppers I have in the bag. Listen, sometimes you just don't be in the mood to be cutting stuff up. But, you know, I like getting these from Walmart. All right, it's already done for you. I have some onion here. I have some green seasoning here. This is one I brought. Okay, and I also like using this one here too. The sofrito tomato, but it has cute flavor. I like it, I really do. Have some garlic powder. Okay, I got some sugar. That sugar is going to cut some of that acidity that can become, especially from um, this right here, this mojo criollo. This has a lot of, uh, it has, I think it has orange, it has um, lemon in it, okay? Adds great flavor to food, all right? Um, I also have some... This is for just a little heat. This is optional. You don't have, this is some chili paste. Whatever you have for some heat, if you want it in there, if you don't, that's up to you, okay? Then I have some sazon packets here, buculantulo y achiote. I have some chicken bouillon flavor, okay? I don't know if I showed, yeah, I showed y'all the shrimp beans, okay? Then I have, oh, I have a little sh Sugar. Did I mention this? Have some sugar if I did. That's gonna cut the acidity. I think I did mention that, but hey. Okay. Then right here, guys, this is from my garden. I had canned this. I had used this the other day. I had some frozen um, tomato puree that I had canned, and I used some of this the other day, and I just, um, this is some of the leftover tomato puree. This was from my garden. Okay, pure tomato puree and it has basil and stuff and all that doom 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 and guys what I have here right here this is like some chicken stock okay you can make some chicken stock and what you could do you could put them into ice cubes and or or you could just freeze them and cut them up when you need a piece of it you take it out great flavor I think I have a video of how to make chicken stock when I first started this um whole channel but guys we're gonna get to cooking let's go uh, so right here I got my pot here a little, um, I love these pots my husband just got these for me so I'm gonna add some oil to this in the meantime guys I'm gonna add uh, about three three tablespoons of oil okay and I'm gonna let that get hot I got this on medium heat but I'm gonna let that get hot and in the meantime, Let's season our pork neck bones here a little bit, okay? So guys, I'm going to take, and don't worry guys, I'm going to link the recipe for you all, okay? To my website, that's why I'll have my recipe um, for this, okay? So we're gonna add like a packet of chicken, um, I'm sorry, some sasson here for some beautiful flavor. All right, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. It's up to you, I'm adding about a teaspoon and a, a teaspoon and a half of this, okay? All right, I'm gonna add some garlic. 
Um, now, if you want to use fresh garlic, guys, you can. My green seasonings, they already have garlic and stuff. But if you want, and they both have garlic, so, you know. But you could always use fresh garlic. I'm going to add about a, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Just want to season this a little bit, you know. Because we want that, and there's a reason why, because we're going to let this cook down a little bit, okay? Then we're going to take... Some of this here, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. Okay, that's gonna add beautiful flavor. Okay, and citrus to the meat so the meat could cook. Okay, because we want to get that cooked down. We want to tenderize that in the meantime. Okay. All right. I'm gonna add a teaspoon. of this chicken bouillon flavor here. All right, and guys, remember, don't add a lot of salt in the beginning because as you start cooking, keep in mind your flavors are gonna start intensifying, okay? So I need you to keep, be, um, keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this here. To the meat. Okay, and I'm going to add a little green seasoning to this as well. Okay. Woo. Oh, she's frozen. All right, so I'm gonna add about uh, two tablespoons. So I want my oil to get nice and hot. Okay, make sure your hands are clean, my loves. Oh, yes, and let's not forget some of this chili paste here, too, because I want to add that. about a tablespoon of that? It's up to you. It's up to you, all right? And make sure your hands are clean, my loves, because we are going to start working it out, all right? Just so we could get these flavors in. If you want to let this marinate, you can, but I don't find that necessary, okay? My oil is starting to pop over there. But when I get over there, I'm going to bring up the heat a little bit more. Just want to get that flavor in your meats. Okay. If you want, you could let the... You know, I like buying these smoked... Because they have these pork neck bones because they have so much meat on them. And you could just, like, if you wanted to, season it like this. And put them in the, on the oven and let them roast like that absolutely delicious all right all right then i have my smoked pork my smoked one i want to add i'm just going to take like one of them because i want that essence of the smoke of the smokiness from that yeah, that oil spark this one so i'm just going to use this much just like to get the essence of that. Just want the essence of the smoking. All right? Okay, we're gonna start adding <laughs> this here. I just wanna get this going here. I'm adding it a little bit because I don't wanna bring down the heat. Okay, I'm bringing this up to medium high heat. All right. Right now, we're building our flavor. Okay, we're just building up our flavors here. And I just want to brown this a little bit here. As you can see, I'm adding this little by little because I don't want to bring down the 
temperature because I don't want it to, I want to get some color on it first. So at this point, you could bring up the temperature to high. And guys, don't throw this away. Whatever you have in here, don't throw it away because we're going to rinse it out with some water because we're going to add all that in here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add about, about a cup or two of, about a cup of water. About a cup or two. Actually, yeah. About a cup and a half of water to that. And I just want this to start getting some color, okay? Because right now what we're doing is that we're building up flavors. Um, if you want to add some cumin to this, you can add some cumin um, as well. But guys, when I show you these recipes, the thing is with these recipes, you, you can take it and make it your own as well. Okay, if, if you don't have, maybe you might want to add, uh, I don't know, red peppers, red onions. I don't know what, you know, when I give you these recipes, play with them as well. Okay, you the side the color. Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Start getting that beautiful color. Up. What we want. Right there. Right? And we're going to get the other side too. If you want to do the, the, the other corner side too, you can. I'll just do that a little bit. And that meat up. Just have to get a little bit of color. All right. Good for me. You want to add water? Add some onion to this, to the base. Okay. I'm gonna add more. I love plenty of onions in this. All right. We're gonna add onion, onion, onion. I love onions. Okay, add as much onion as you like. Slice and cut in half. I want to saute that in there to get all these beautiful flavors. We're also going to add some green peppers. Let it cook in that beautiful oil and, and pick up that flavor. Okay. As a matter of fact, guys, I have some chopped celery. I mean, some celery that I'm going to chop up as well. Okay, I'm going to add some celery here. A handful of celery. A handful. About a little, that's about, about a cup of celery. Because I want it to contribute to that. Yes. I'm going to take the rest of this here. This was about a cup and a half of water because it has all my spices in it from that bowl. Okay. Because right now we're going to need the meat to tenderize. Of course the onions and stuff are going to melt into this but that is okay because 
during the final ending of this, I like to top it off with some extra onion for flavor. Okay. Medium heat. Um, after half an hour, we'll come back and check up on it. Okay, guys? So I'm checking on this now. Our pork. Been after half an hour. All right. Check the texture just to see if it's going to break down. Still got to cook it some more. So I'm going to leave this in here for another half an hour. Okay, if you need to add a little bit more water, go ahead. I think I'm okay from here because I got this on medium low heat anyway. So because I want that flavor from the smoked pork to just give these a little twist. I'm going to do this for about another 20 minutes for to a half an hour and then we're going to start adding our other ingredients, okay? about 20 more minutes and I like the meat at this texture because I could easily go through it you know because I still have to put in my okra and my um, string beans to this and it's gonna still continue to break down so it's at the you know as you can see right here even with this starting to, it's getting there Okay, all right, and the sauce got nice and rich. All right, so my love, what I'm gonna do now, I am going to start getting stuff together. Okay, I'm gonna add some of my chicken cube, stock, my chicken stock cube here. Okay, that has lots of flavor. Okay, lots and lots of flavor. That's why, guys, and watch your salt, guys. Watch your salt. Watch your salt. Is that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Add my tomato here. This is about, ah, about a cup of pureed tomato. Just gonna swish a little bit of water in here. Push a little bit of water in there. Okay. That's pureed tomato right from my garden. All right. Let me taste this here. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. And the sugar is just, you know, just to break down, balance the flavors here. Mm. Add a little sugar. Okay, about a tablespoon. Okay. About two cups of okra. That looks good already, honey. <laughs> OMG. down guys. That's just gonna cook now. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. And my loves, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to press that notification bell. So you can be notified on a weekly basis of all my new recipes, videos, vlogs, and give me that thumbs up. Press that algorithm. I, well, I need that algorithm, guys. It keeps it going. It keeps my. It helps grow my channel, okay, and promote my videos, okay, and share. Let everybody know about Jackie's 
cooking, okay? That's what I'm here for, all right? So, okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do now, the goal is we're gonna let this cook down, cover it, I'll be back in like another 30 minutes, okay? The goal is to cook this down, all right? And as it's cooking down, then we'll taste for if we need more salt or whatever. You don't want to add to, already in the beginning we had to add salt, but you don't want to go overboard because you could always, you could, if you put in too much salt, it's hard to take it out. You could always put it in, but it's hard to take out. All right? So, on medium heat, let this cook, honey. We'll be back. So I had brought down, this is our dish. Okay, after cooking it, you know, our nice delicious stew. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take some red onion, a little onion, and this is that. Remember, I told you I was going to add some more onion into it later on, and I'm doing that. It's just going to add an extra layer of flavor. Okay, and then after that, we're going to cover it. And let that create its own, let the steam and everything like that create that extra layer of flavor. And here we go, my loves. This is our beautiful dish. I had cooked this for an extra 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, that's the goal, to cook it down. So all those beautiful flavors could intensify, baby. Yeah. If I could rush out and get this done. It's our beautiful okra. String beans. Okay. And I got some of that smoked pork here. Just a little bit. Just want to taste it. Get a little taste of what's going on here. Okra. <laughs> now, you know this is life. I love okra, oh my God. Take that first bite, y'all. You taste, you taste. Mmm, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yes. Guys. Oh my god, first of all, I love okra. This is absolutely perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The smoked pork that I put in there, that little bit, it's just the right amount. I love this with rice. Look at that. Mmm. Piece of meat up in here, honey. Mmm. Got rice. Baby. Just want a little bit of that pork. Mmm. 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 Guys. Mmm. Please try this recipe. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Try this beautiful recipe. I mean, I just can't tell you how good this is. There's other videos, guys, I'm gonna be linking that you can see all my upcoming videos. But guys, before I go, I just want you to do three things for me, and that is eat, love, and pray. Guys, until next time. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yes, honey. Mm, 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 mm.